If you've taken a drive in the country this summer, you've probably noticed the beautiful quilts painted on Oregon barns. Yeah, they're part of history on display in our own backyard. Fox show Stephanie Domerod is live in studio to give us a look. I love this idea, Stephanie, and I've been here for years and I've never even really noticed. Yeah, exactly. You just got to look a little closer, Shauna. Well, it's easy, of course, though, to take for granted just how pretty our countryside is here in our area. But now there's a way you can get out, enjoy all that beauty, and also learn more about the stories that make up our unique heritage. I took a drive to show you what you could find next time you travel through the Tualatin Valley. When you drive through Oregon's countryside, it's pretty easy to spot the beauty. But in Washington County, there's something else that may catch your eye. Why did you decide to put it here? Um, I thought it was more visible on the end of this barn. High up on the side of Beverly Hess's barn, you may catch a glimpse of this colorful square block. It's actually a design passed through generations. This is the block called Hovering Hawks. It was a popular block on uh, the Oregon Trail. The block is a pattern used over hundreds of years by quilters who sew blocks together and make a quilt. But this block is part of something much bigger. It's just fun to go out and see them all. The square is a barn quilt, and it's just one of dozens you'll find here. Together, they form the Tualatin Valley Barn Quilt Trail. It's actually art in unexpected places in a rural area. Jane Faust and other quilters in the county heard about the idea of a quilt barn trail nearly 10 years ago. Its roots in the Midwest. They wanted an Oregon version, so the community brought it to life. I just thought it was a cool project. I love the bright colors and the whole idea of uh, pulling the community in to work on this project because it became a community project that people got pretty excited about. Now, around the many turns along these roads, travelers will find barn quilts that represent history and family. The hub here, these, these are, of course, original. The whole running gear underneath it. Like here at Speshard Farms in Forest Grove. This has a great story about, uh, I mean, how do you have a wagon like this that's still preserved and has a, has a canvas on it and everything. Lyle Speshard's farm houses the very wagon that brought his great-grandfather from Illinois along the Oregon Trail and displays a block in its honor. This is a mountain wagon. They're narrow and because uh, they had to get over the Cascade Mountain Range. Sometimes the squares serve as landmarks like this at Browns Ferry Park, named Cross Canoes, where many have crossed the Tualatin. And just like the quilts that are sewn together, Bev says this quilt trail has also helped connect communities. They, they slow down, they park on the corner out here and they look at it, a bicyclist go by and remark on them. Turning a drive into a historical journey. You just have to know where to look. And they're just fun. Well, Jane says there is at least one quilt trail in every state. Oregon actually has four of these trails, and the first was in Tillamook County. Now, at the time, it was the first of its kind on the West Coast. Now, the Tualatin Valley Quilt Trail uh, was completed around 2019, so it took years for the community to do this, but now they're out on display for you to check out. If you'd like to learn more about the Quilt Barn Trail of Tualatin Valley or Tillamook County, just head to our website at kptv.com. Kim and Shauna, back to you guys. Yeah, I